Good day and welcome back to another DBC Durkheim Battle video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the campaign uh, for the Worldwide Celebration Part 1. Obviously I've covered quite a bit before pulling out this video from step up tickets to memorial stones to UR premium stones to should you summon to uh, basically what to get with your memorial stones and that's because a lot of it is um, more urgent, more focal point, people want to spend their stones, they want to spend you know, their currencies, they want to spend their tickets, but we also want to look at the campaign. And there is quite a bit of stuff that has come out during the course of the campaign. There's going to be a lot more that comes out, uh, and right now there is still a decent chunk. So just talking pure stones, uh, you know, there is a decent chunk of stones from this event. You know, if you include the EZA that's not in the announcement, um, but obviously was in the Durkin Live. I think we're sitting at well over the 300 stone mark. Um, and I'll put a more accurate detail in the thumbnail or title of the video. But you know, we are definitely crossing that 300 stone barrier. And that's not including top grossing rewards, part twos, part threes. So there's definitely a good chunk of stones to earn here. Now 72 of which will come from your login and another 140 will come from the suspicious shimoleons event which is obviously a daily event so they come in like trickles it's not that you can grab 300 stones in one day uh it's more that you'll be getting 300 stones at least from all the part one content over the next three weeks now it's still pretty good and there is still a lot of stones to earn immediately if you look at things like the missions you can get 10 stones there which is fairly simple and straightforward but especially in terms of content, there's a decent chunk that is coming. Uh, we've got Blue Zones, which will be out on Friday. We have a new Dokken event. We have a new story event. We have a new social media campaign. We have the Save the Shimoleons growth event. A new Skill Orb event. We also have the Memorable Battles getting an update. We have the Freezer and Memorial Battles that have already released. We have the new Fear event for Broly. And we have a new Behold support memory update stage as well we also have uh, some updates to missions of other contents and just in general some really 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 good stuff uh, that a lot of players will you know quite freely want to do so yeah i think overall um you know definitely for me a very 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 nice campaign a good start as well i think it's nice to not have too much content around the beginning we have the new Burly Challenge event. We have the Support Memory update. We have the new Story event. We have the Growth event. Um, we have, you know, the Freezer and Memorial Battles that already came out. And then, obviously, we will be summoning, awakening their units. And then on Friday um, or tomorrow, by the time this video is up, there will be, you know, some Blue Zones to try them out in, some Memorial Battles to try them out in. Um, you know, there will be some more content that's being added in. So I think that's really cool. Uh, obviously, we'll have a part two. We'll even have a part three, um, you know, because it's all based on the Broly movies, although I think the part three will mainly be easy A's. But I think, yeah, in general, definitely an uh, incentive to summon. Uh, definitely an incentive to earn some stones. If you're someone who's not keen on Broly, that's understandable. You're welcome to obviously not summon for Broly. But I think, uh, you know, ultimately, there is still a fair chunk of content. There is, also, there is also some other announcements, like the weekend login bonus will be announced, and that's not included currently in the stone count, because we don't know what that is, and it's permanent. So it's not something that you're going to be able to um, count on right now. I mean, you'll be able to get stones from it, but it's on top of what's already uh, available, which is really cool. So we have to take a look at that. Now, of course, uh, for most players, I think you want to start with the story event. So that you can obviously clear it, get the rewards, uh, get the tickets, especially that are tied to it. Uh, I think Doken Awakening Your Units is obviously very, very important right now. Uh, I think, you know, the Support Memory event, you want to try and get all of this out the way. The Fear Broly event, I think, will be your big source of stones. It's around 30 of them. Remember to do your Shimoleons event every single day. Very, very important. And right now, there's no easy A's or anything. And the Blue Zone only comes out on Friday. So you do have a little bit of downtime mainly to awaken whatever new units you do get, sort out your box, put units into your hidden potential system, 
and essentially like get yourself ready for the blue zones i think they'll probably release four stages memorial battle and the whole will be two more stages um so there's going to be some very decent stuff overall and i think players definitely yeah should consider completing all of these especially the new fear the burly event i think it's really cool um i haven't tried it yet as of this video but i will probably have it done and ready uh afterwards and probably up even maybe just after this video but it looks really cool and there's a lot of good stones here cool interesting missions here it's always a new format a boss fight which i find cool uh so yeah I think that's it really I think that's pretty much everything you need to know don't think there's anything else really to cover obviously the banners are super important uh, I think players will definitely be invested in those summoning etc so that's really cool but yeah that's basically it for me so I will see you guys in the next one uh, as always you know thanks for watching uh, and yeah I think I will see you guys in the next one so that's basically it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.